Hey guys, today I'm going to be turning this 16 gauge steel into this and then this. Now, although I made this on SolidWorks, I'm going to be taking you through the math so you can write it out yourself and create a template from paper. Without further ado, let's get started. So just so you have an idea, this is what we're kind of working with here, just to start off. All right, so we got the uh, laying wire systems, fire control up. This is uh, what you see when you first open it up. And I gotta import my program. So right there, that's my, oh, dusty. That's my sphere pattern. All right, dry run looked good, so I'm just gonna go adjust the power settings on the plasma cutter. Cut in 16 gauge, so it's at 40, so that's uh, probably where it should be. My speed is about 180 inches per minute. See how it goes. Got pretty close having the nesting on some of them. Could have did a little better on the others, but it works. So this is what the pieces look like when they just come out. On the back side, there's no, there's minimal amount of like slag, whatever you want to call that. Best way to clean the slag off of these is probably a wire brush attachment for your angle grinder. Instead of the, the grinders, I actually remove material, whereas the wire brush does not. So this is the kind of roller I'm using. Nice manual. Seems to work for me. So these adjusting knobs here, they move this bottom roller up and down. And that uh, adjusts how much roll you get. So what I do is I tighten both of them all the way up first every time I use it in case someone else came over here and used it. And then for these I got to get about a three inch radius. So I'm just going to totally guess and go like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the same thing on the other side. I got this little straight part here. I'm gonna to try to cur uncurl that by sending it in the opposite way. So I sent it in this way first. I'm gonna send it in this way. Try to compensate for that. But that might be close to three inches already. The closer you get this here, the easier it'll be when you're welding everything together. It's too much. All right, there you go. That's probably a little better. got all 17 of them now. 17 turned down four times at the setting, the current setting that the roller's at. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it slowly until I get the three inch diameter on the outside. It's 
So now I just gotta figure out how to put these together. Okay, so I think I just figured out a way how to do this. Instead of using the ones that I actually cut to size, I found out that the oversized ones that were oversized by the material thickness was 0 0.0625. Since it was oversized and this metal still has a bit of a springiness to it, it would, if you were to like push it on there, it would actually spring up and clip onto the wood. So after being really careful, I kind of don't want to touch these in case they come apart again, but it just kind of clips onto the wood all over the place. Uh, weld the seams from the inside first, and then hit up anything that I missed on the outside. going to weld these two pieces together but I think it's going to be easier just to hit them with the flap disc um, right now while I, they can lay on something flat it'll be a little easier to handle so. Both halves uh, rough shined and then off camera I put a little bevel in here, a little bead, so I, when I weld it it has something to stick to, it's not just the outside. Not very much but it should be enough. I'm going to go ahead and tack that together all the way around and then give it a solid weld. Try not to burn through, it's pretty thin yet. And then I should be onto the polishing stage after I grind that weld off. the two halves together on the belt sander and the flap disc. Now I'm going to use this finishing sander and we're going to go up 60, 100, 150, 220, black and white. These two are for different metals. So. This is what we got after all probably like 20 minutes of buffing not half bad considering pretty much all these nick marks that you see in it are for when I dropped it buffing it because it was so slippery <laughs>